Hello folks, today I am come up with an old question. This question belongs to 2010 May June paper 23 and the question number is 3. And it is concerned with the chapter work, energy and power. <clears throat> uh, actually, it's a, a typical mistake of mine to forget to, to do this problem. So recently what happened was uh, uh, many pupils and uh, YouTube viewers asked me this question, at least 4 or 5. So that's why I plan to go ahead with this. So let's do and it's a bit complex as well. It's a bit complex as well. So it says that a cyclist is moving up a slope that has a constant gradient. So it means that a uh, uh, cyclist is going somewhat like this where the gradient is constant. It means that the slope of this thing is a constant is a constant. So cyclist is going this way. The cyclist takes 8.0 seconds to climb the slope. So 8.0 seconds. The time is 8.0. The variation with time t of the speed v of the cyclist is shown in figure 3.1. So the speed of the cyclist varies. It has to. It will. Because our uh, the energy production rate of human body has got certain limit. So that's why <coughs> when it was down, uh, the velocity was high. And as it goes up, 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 then the velocity becomes lesser and lesser. And here, uh, somewhere around here, it is almost uh, uh, decreasing in a constant manner. Almost, almost. So use figure 3.1 to determine the total distance moved up the slope. So we have to find the distance moved up the slope till this 8 seconds. So we know that uh, in a VT, VT graph, the displacement distance is displacement is given by given by the area covered by the graph. So we have to find uh, this area. We have to find this area to know the distance of the cycle that it travels up the slope and let us remember that this area is not a regular shape it is curved here so what I do is I do an approximation what I can do here is let me draw a tangent from here let me draw a tangent from here from here so this is almost straight line I assume so it ends here now if I do so if I do so what happens now is if I draw a straight line here if I straight line here so now I have got uh, a rectangle here rectangle here and I have got a trapezium here so the this total area so total area of area total total uh, of rectangle plus trapezium is equal to so for the rectangle it's equal to uh, this height into this length so this height is 6 into uh, this length is uh, this is 2 this is 3 so it is 2.4 so it should be I think it's 2.4 actually so this is 3 is 2.4 2.4 plus plus then uh, I have then 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 I have uh, so this is a trapezium so what I must have is it is half into the perpendicular it is from here to here so it is 8 it is a 2.4 so if it is 8 and it is 2.4 it becomes a, a 5.6 so 8 2.4 will be equal to uh, sorry 8 2.4 uh, so this is 8 here 2.4 it is 6 it is 5 so it is 5.6 and then sum of the parallel sides the sum is here it is a 6 here it is 3 so it should be uh, it should be around uh, what I must do is so let me do the calculations here uh, 6 into 2.4 equal to then plus uh, 0.5 into 5.6 into uh, 6 plus 3 is 9 so this is 39.6 so this whole area is 39.6 and it is meters. It is meters because the unit of this thing is a meter per second and this unit is second. So this this cancel what remains is meter area of this thing. Now from that area we have to cancel we have to subtract some of them. So this thing has to be subtracted. So if I do so it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, somewhat let us say 20. So let us say 20 squares here, <coughs> which I have to subtract. So 20 squares will be equal to, 20 squares will be equal to, uh, equal to one of the square will be, this will be 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and uh, uh, this will also be, uh, so this is 1 here, so this will also be 0 0.2. So one of the squares is uh, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2, so it's equal to 20 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2. So this will be, this will be, uh, uh, so it is a 20 into 0.2 into 0.2. I, so I made a mistake here. Uh, yeah, so this is into, so this will be 0 0.8. 0 0.8 so now it has to be deducted from 39.6 so minus 39.6 will be equal to 38.8 so about 38.8 meters 38.8 meters and if you write in 2 sf it will be equal to 39 meters so if i write in 3 sf it is 38.8 and if i write in 2 sf it is equal to 39 meters so the answers could vary slightly it depends on the count that we do here so this is the distance traveled by the cycle from its velocity of 6 to this velocity of this 5. Sorry, it's not 5, it is 3. Now, now uh, the bicycle and cyclist have a constant combined mass of uh, 92 kgs. So it is, its mass is 92 kgs, 92 kgs. The vertical height through which the cyclist moves is 1.3 meters. The height is required here. Height is equal to 1.3 meters. For the movement of the bicycle and the cyclist between t equal to 0 and 8 seconds, 8 seconds, the whole motion, use figure 3.1 to calculate the change in kinetic energy. So we have to use the figure there to find the change in the kinetic energy. So let me fold the figure so that I can show this thing simultaneously here. I'm doing it here. I'm doing it. I'm done doing it. Yes. So let me place it here. So now what I have is I have to find the change in Ke. So uh, delta Ke is equal to Ke final minus Ke initial. That's equal to 1 by 2 m. The velocity here squared. So this velocity is equal to it goes to this 3. 3. So it is 1 by 2 3 square minus 1 by 2 m. And this velocity here is 6. It is 6 squared. That's equal to 1 by 2. M is 92. 92. It is 3 square minus 6 square. So this will be equal to. So uh, 92 into 0.5 into 3 squared uh, minus 6 squared. Very close. Equal to. So it is minus 1, 2, 4, 2, uh, 4, 2 joules. So if we need a magnitude only, we can write 1, 2, 4, 2. But here it doesn't say the magnitude. So that's why I have I will write minus 1, 2, 4, 2 joules. Then calculate the change in gravitational potential energy. Now what happens is initially the cycle was at a lower height. Then it reaches here. So this height is equal to 1.3 meter. So now the change in uh, potential energy is equal to is equal to potential energy final minus potential energy initial that's equal to mgh minus zero initial height was zero that's why so it will be equal to m is 92 into 9.81 into 1.3 so it should be equal to 92 uh, sorry sorry 92 into 9.81 into 1.3 equal to it gives me 1173.276 so when i write it in just uh, uh, without the symbol i write 1173 so it is 1173 joules now the cycle cyclist pedals continuously so that the useful power delivered to the bicycle is uh, 20 75 watts so the power of the cyclist is this much this much Calculate the useful work done by the cyclist. So the work done by the cyclist is equal to 75 watt. This is work done by cyclist is equal to is equal to power of the cyclist 
cyclist into the time till which he does that work so it will give me power is 75 and the time is time is from here 0 to 8 so it is 8 seconds so that's equal to 75 into 8 equal to it is 600 watts watts or joule per uh, joule per second sorry it is joule sorry we are finding the uh, work so this is uh, 600 joules so till now everything is okay now let me go to another page in the another page we have we have yes like this some energy is used in overcoming frictional forces yes that is definitely a, a reality definitely a reality user answers in b b means what we have done here so we have to use these answers to find to show that total energy converted in overcoming frictional forces is approximately 670 joules so by using these three data by using these three data we have to find that we have to find that the energy applied in overcoming friction is friction is 670 joules so now what we have to remember here is when this thing climbs here climbs here the energy that uh, was present here was energy present here was kinetic energy initial and potential energy initial and here the energies present are kinetic energy final uh, potential energy final <coughs> final so now what uh, is being done here is the writer has put in some energy here the writer has put in some energy which is uh, which is uh, as we have shown here uh, it is 600 joules the writer has put in 600 joules and then 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 what we have is uh, put in 600 joules and what we have is uh, the friction the loss due to friction so friction is something that is lost the rider put uh, some energy here so the energy put by the rider here is uh, energy of the cyclist cyclist here so the energy input here is is uh, energy of cyclist plus kei plus pi the remaining energy is or output what you say is this plus this plus the energy used against used against friction against friction so let me use this formula here the input to the system is uh, energy of cyclist kei pi the output that has been obtained is like this so we must have energy of a cyclist plus pe initial plus pe final final uh, equal to sorry this is initial initial equal to ke final plus pe final plus some energy lost during due to friction so i have to find this thing this thing so it is e due to friction is equal to is equal to energy of cyclist cyclist then i have to uh, use the terms properly uh, so so what i need to do is uh, uh, plus pei minus minus uh, uh, minus 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 pi minus pf pef so i made a mistake here this is ke this is ke sorry ke initial and uh, then plus ke initial minus ke final final uh, like this so it's equal to energy of cyclist is uh, 600 600 which we found here this is uh, 600 here so it is 600 600 uh, then it is it is minus minus p e f minus p e i and again i have got here uh, i have got here uh, and minus it is k e f minus k e I. so that's equal to 600 minus 1173 this will be this will be minus minus 1242 so the whole thing will be equal to so 600 minus 
1273 plus 1242 equal to 669 and that's nearly equal to 670 joules as given by the question. So I have used uh, this thing in detail in most of the solutions or books they do it in a shortcut so I thought that I should do it in details. Now <clears throat> forces so this energy due to friction is equal to work done by this thing so that is equal to force of friction into x x is the displacement so or uh, we have to have f f is equal to energy due to friction by this x and that's equal to friction is a 669 this thing work and the displacement or the distance is what we found out initially was so this thing is 38.8 by 38.8 so equal to so divided 38.8 so it is 17.2 uh, newtons so it is 17.2 now last question suggest why the magnitude of the total rest force should not be constant so it is not constant because the velocity of the body is not constant Resistive force means the for the force of resistance, uh, uh, frictional force here, the force due to air, opposing force is due to air, and especially this uh, force due to air, what I mean say, those forces depend on velocity, some power of velocity, maybe power 1, maybe power 2, like that. So if V decreases, these forces would decrease, V decreases, V decreases, so this force would decrease. So I can say that, so... Uh, resistive forces resistive forces include include those due to air as well as well which depend on on velocity so since velocity has changed has changed over time, time, uh, the resistive forces, forces should also change. Okay, this is the complete solution to, to this problem. So it is one of the longest and uh, toughest problems in in uh, paper two of this A level. So which we did this way.